everyone! In this video, we are going to learn about number grid puzzles. And our goal today is to look at the place value patterns in the number grid and use them to help us solve the puzzles. The first thing we need to do is look at the patterns that we see on our number grid. We've done this before. When we move along a row, our numbers go up by one. So we count by ones. If we started at 24, we would say 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We can also notice that almost all of the numbers in the same row have the same tens digit. Let's look at the 40s. 41, 42, 43, and so on. Each number in this row has a four in the tens digit, except for the last one, because we moved up to 50. When we move up or down a column on the number grid, our number changes by 10. So only the number in the tens place changes. If we start at 74 and we hop up one block, our number is 64. That means that we started at 74, we took away 10, and now we are left with 64. If we hop down instead of up, so start at 74 again, and then hop down, we just added 10, and our new number is 84. You can see that the number in the ones place stays the same as you travel up or down a column, but the number in the tens place changes by one as you go down or up a column. Here is an example of a number grid puzzle. This is really just a piece that was taken out of the number grid. Let me show you where it would go. You can see that this piece was just taken out of the number grid. We're going to use our number grid patterns to help us figure out which numbers go into the puzzle. We were given 44 and 37. When we move in a row, we know that we just add one. We're just counting up. So if we start with 44, we know the next number has to be what? 45, right. So we have 44, 45, and then the next would be 46, and then 47. So we have our first bottom row complete. And remember, when we move up or down a column, our number changes by 10. So only the number in the tens place will change. If we have 44 and we hop up, we take away 10. So does our tens place number go up or down? Right, it goes down. So now instead of four in the tens place, we will have a three in the tens place and our ones place stays the same. So the number above 44 is 34. We have to do the same thing for this number, 34. When we take away 10 from 34, or when we jump up, our tens place goes back down one more. So we jumped from 34 up to 24. So if we start with 37 and we hop up, the number in the tens place goes down one. So instead of a three in the tens place, we'll have a two in the tens place and our ones digit stays the same. It's a seven. So when we started at 37 and we hopped up, or counted back 10, we ended up with 27. Now we can see how a number grid puzzle is just a piece cut out of the number grid. Because if we counted our 20s, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, we can see that the numbers we put into our puzzle fit perfectly in the number grid. Since we know the patterns, when you move along a row or a column in our number grid, 
We don't even need to use the number grid to solve our number grid puzzles. Let me show you. Here's another example of a number grid puzzle. The only number we are given is the number 53, but we need to figure out which numbers belong in these blank spaces. So let's remember our number grid patterns. When we move along in a row, we add one. So our ones place changes. So when we count by ones, what number comes after 53? Right, 54 comes after 53. If we count by ones, what number comes before 53? Remember, our tens digit stays the same, but our ones digit changes. So if we count back from 54, 53, the next number is 52. Great job. Now we need to solve the numbers that are above 53 in the number grid and below 53 in the number grid. Remember, when we move up or down a column, only the tens digit changes. This one right here, this is the tens digit. So if we move down one, we add 10. So the tens digit increases by one. So instead of a five in the tens place, we'll have a six in the tens place. And the one will stay the same. So we went from 53 and we added 10 to make 63. Now if we go the opposite way, if we move up from 53, our tens digit goes down by one. So in the tens place now, we'll have a four, and the ones place stays the same, 43. Because we know all of these rules about the number grid, we don't even need to see all the other numbers around here to solve our puzzle. Let's try this one. Again, we are only given one number to start with and the rest of the number grid is all blanked out. If we have the number 86 and we hop up, which digit changes? Right, the tens digit changes. And since we are counting back, You got it. The tens digit changed from eight to seven. And the ones digit stayed the same because we are in the same column. What number belongs above 76? Right, the number 66. Because again, our ones digit stayed the same. It's all sixes. Our tens digit is going down because we are subtracting 10. So we went from 76 up to 66. Now let's finish this column. When we add 10 to 86, we hop down. What number would be 10 more than 86? I'll give you a hint. You have to look at the tens place and change that number. Right, the number 96 appears below 86 because our tens digit changes. It gets bigger, but our ones digit stays the same. To fill in the rest of our blank spaces, now we only need to count by ones. So when we move across a row, if we start with 96, the number that comes next is 97. Our tens digit stayed the same, but the ones digit increased by one. It got bigger by one. How about this one? This number is right next to 76, but we count back to get this number. 
we start at 76 and count back one, what number belongs there? 75. The ones digit changed, it got smaller, but the tenth digit stays the same. This is our last blank to fill. If we start with 86 and count back one, what number belongs here? We know it's going to have the same tens digit because it's in the same row. So the tens digit will stay eight. The ones digit will get smaller because we count back. We subtract one. Right, the number is 85, because if we take one away from 86, we get 85. The website I used to help me practice number grid puzzles is linked below. The best way to get better at number grid puzzles is just to practice. So keep working hard and soon you'll be a pro. Thanks for watching.